with the environmental degradation, with the problems that we have, is that they happen very, very slowly. Quite often, the generation that facilitates or that is responsible for the environmental degradation is not the one that pays the price. It's a very slow process. And so we need to be very alert to understand that so that we do not put our future generations in jeopardy as we pursue our own satisfaction today. Human beings do not destroy the environment deliberately and consciously. There are very few of us who go out there and maliciously want to harm the trees, want to have to harm marine life, uh, want to destroy the very essence that sustains our own life. What is wrong with us human beings is that so many of us are ignorant about how the environment gets destroyed. So many of us do not make the linkages between our activities and what we do to the environment. And just to give a few examples, in my own part of the world, I keep telling people, let us not cut trees irresponsibly. Let us not destroy especially the forested mountains. Let's not interfere with the ecological systems in these mountains because they are playing a very important part of our life. They are responsible for our survival. Because if you destroy the, the forests on these mountains, the rivers will stop flowing and the rains will become irregular and the crops will fail and you will die of hunger and starvation. Now the problem is people don't make those linkages. They don't see how cutting trees in the forest will eventually make them die of hunger and starvation. When we are driving our cars, especially in the highly developed countries, or we are consuming resources because they are available, either within our borders or we can buy them wherever they are because we have the capital to do so, we have the ability to do so. We do not quite realize that as we drive our cars in a very inefficient way, throwing tons of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, we don't think that that gas is going to interfere with the ice in the polar regions. We don't think that some of the pollutants that come out of our factories and our domestic appliances are eventually going to get into the water and into